I'm Brad Morgan from Morgan Composting, President and CEO, Founder of Morgan Composting. The Fenville site was added just about three years ago with a cooperative effort between Skipper Poultry and Morgan Composting. We're making some basic products. Number one is dry layer manure. Number two is poultry compost. Number three is gypsum plus. Number four is K2. Now we do make a few other custom blends here because we do have the ability with the loader and the turner and everything's here. The product that we move up most of is what we call K2. K2 is really quite simple. It's layer manure with gypsum with compost. The compost is in there for a biological stimulant. The gypsum is in there mainly to protect and actually add the sulfur and the calcium to the blend. And it really makes for a very, very nice product. As you can see, it's a very, very mellow product. And there's still temperature to it, but it's very, very smooth. Most of the gypsum's actually been incorporated. The, 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 the nitrogen from the manures and the carbon from the compost all have interacted, spreads very easily, very nice to work with. Anytime that we're talking in the fall applications, we're talking about the potential of breaking down crop residues. And compost, and especially poultry compost, is designed to break down residue. So as we're heating it up, as we're growing, we're growing basically bacteria and fungi that are residue break, they, they break down residue. The thing you're noticing is that white, and what that is, is it's, it's fungal activity. These are decomposers. These are actually working with this, this extra bark, this extra wood that we put in poultry compost because poultry compost takes much longer to break down and make a plant available. Anytime I can take your crop residue, get it ready for the next year, it's like adding 80 to 100 pounds of potash. It's like adding and bringing back the phosphorus that it actually needs. So all of that crop residue that was left back that had the potential for insects, disease, all of these problems, has now becoming part of the system that's gonna be back into plant food, which is actually going to be usable material.